Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this vase using FreeCAD. So let's see how it looks in FreeCAD. Uh, if you like this design, you can follow my tutorial and also give me a like and subscribe. So thank you. Okay, so I start by creating a new document. And in the sketcher workbench, I create a new sketch in the front view. I will draw an arc, something like this, and I select these two points, and I hit V for vertical constraint. Now I select this point and this line, and I set the constraint to it. Now I select um. Now I create a new point on this arc and I select this point and this line I set a constraint. I select this point and this point and hit L53. I select this point and this point and hit L45. I select this point and this point and I hit I set it to 70 now I create another arc but uh, this time is a uh, center center arc I start from this point and I try it out like this and I select this point and this point I hit F for horizontal constraint this point and this point hit edge then I create another point on this arc I select this point and this line and I set a constraint I select this point and this point I hit L set it to 3 I zoom down here and select this point and this point and hit edge for horizontal constraint. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I can close that. Now I go to the product workbench. I click on the sketch and I revolve it. I type in here 10 degree and I click on symmetric angle. And I don't check, uh, don't check the gray solid. And okay. Now we have two surface like this. Now I drop this one down, and I show the sketch. I select this edge, and control select this edge in the middle, and I create a rule surface. You can see a new uh, surface created between these two. Now I select this edge and this edge and create a rule surface. Now I click on the revolve and control click on the sketch and I hide. Now I go to the curve workbench. I can draw select these two surface and turn that into a parameter solid. Then I go back to the product workbench. I click on the middle line and I fill it in. One. Okay. Now I will polar right. I go to the drop workbench. I select the fill it. Modification. Array tool, all array. I click on reset point and type in here 36. Okay. I come down here and I turn off the grid. Now I go to the curve workbench. I click on the array and turn that into parameter solid. 
Now I go to the product page. Make sure you are in the top view. You click up here and show the wireframe. In the wireframe, you just control select this edge. And create fill it. One. Okay. Now I go up here and view the uh, flat line. Okay, so next I will view the top and the bottom of the vase. I go to the sketcher workbench and I will create a new sketch in the front view. I view the section and create external geometry. I click on this point up here. I create a line, something like this. Make sure this line have the horizontal constraint on it. I click on this point and this point hit edge. Make sure these two points are outside of the vase. I close that. I click on the sketch and I go to the product workbench and I extrude it to 100 symmetric okay I click on the vase and I will rename it vase body I click on the extrude control click on the vase body I go to prop split fly prop now I click on the outside and I delete it. I click on the slide and I go to the shock of bench. I create a clone of this. I click on the new clone and I right click transform. And I type in here 70 and go to the front view. Just move it down one unit. Okay. Now I drop down the slide, drop down the slide again, and I click on the base body and I show it. Now in the viewport, I hit Shift B and I click and draw to select everything. I go to the curve open and turn that into the solid. Now I go back to the sketcher open. I click on nothing and create a new sketch in the front view. I view the section. I go to the model tab. I click on the first sketch and I show it. And I click on the solid and I hide it. And I will reference the arc outside. Now I create another arc. Another center arc. Start from this point. And draw it out like this. I select this point and this point. Hit H. Select this point and this point. Hit L. Set it to 3. Select this point and this point. Hit I. Set it to 5. I create polyline. Start from here. Hit M, another point in here, the next point in here, and the last point in here. Select this one and set the horizontal constraint. Hit H. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I can close that. Now I go to the product workbench. I click on the new sketch and revolve it. 360 and click on the gray solid. Good, okay. Now I go back to the sketch workbench. I create new sketch in the front view. 
every recession, I create a new line like this. I create a point on this line. I select this point and this line and set a constraint. I select this point and this point. Hit A, set it to 10. I select this line and this line. The angle 75. Now I create polyline over outside of the upper part and I close that. Go to the part of bench. I select the sketch and it's through it. 200. Symmetric. Okay. In the G view, I control select the revolve and select the is true. And I just cut it. Now I show the solid 002. I control select the solid 002 and the cut and union them together. Now I go to the sketcher workbench and I will create a new sketch on the top view. But this time, offset it up to 35. OK. I create a circle in the center. Select the circle and set the diameter 72. Now I can close that. Now I go to the part bench and I screw it in the negative z axis 67. And the angle will be negative 3. I click OK. If I move my mouse over the screw 002, you can see the shape of the screw. I control click on the effusion and click on the screw 002 and I just cut it. Now I zoom in here and select this edge and this edge. And I will fill at it with three okay and I come down here select this one and this one and I will fill at it with one okay I click on the fillet and I go to the view deviation down to zero point one enter Okay, so now we just finished uh, modeling the vase using FreeCut. So thanks for watching.